Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming how I edit my Instagram pictures and also I'm going to talk about what is a feed or a theme on Instagram because some people like completely do not understand it and some people do. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to give this a big, 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 big thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is what is an Instagram theme and or like a feed. A feed or a theme, whatever you want to call it. So basically when I think of feed or theme, I think of something that flows and goes together. Like when you're talking about an Instagram feed or theme, whatever you want to call it, it's basically all the pictures making everything kind of flow together that have the same colors involved that just look like they look good together. So I'm going to be showing you guys some accounts that I think are like good accounts that have really good Instagram themes to them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started with that and yeah okay so the first instagram that i'm looking at is that so jacks and he has personally i thought i was following him we're gonna re-follow him um his instagram theme like this row right here it starts in the black one to like the selfie you know that's like really nice like the ones that I'm showing right now it is like such like it's amazing how good that looks like just they're all pastel and his Instagram feed for me is like goals that will never happen like this right here is amazing <laughs> but that's one of them my friend Lauren hers is like really really nice and it goes from like pink to like almost like a blue to like a nice one. And at first she did like a purple tint to hers and then still that. And then she kind of faded into F2 I think on Visco. But that's like a really nice one. Um, another one is, it's Canela, Canela Tree Gross or whatever, Canela. Um, she's an Instagrammer. YouTuber. She's my favorite. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, she's into white now, but before it, like, my theme is kind of inspired by her theme, but my thought is good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go on Afterlight, and like I said, you do not need this app. Don't feel like you need to. Um, so now I'm just going to go in and import a picture of myself because I'm going to start off with how I edit like selfies. So I'll go on the picture or import the picture and I'll go on crop and like I said like there's probably there's crop on anything like you can even go on like your phone setting probably crop it. Um, and you do not need to crop it at this point because Instagram has a new setting where it turns it into a square. But if you want like your face to be on it, you can't really control that when it comes to like your feed. So I don't do that. So I just crop it anyways. So I'll crop it to where I want it. Then I will go on the little dial section type of thing and I'll go on brightness. And I'll turn that up or down. I'm just going to turn that on to like 15 around there. And then I'll go on saturation and I'll turn that down or up. And I just turn it down like a little bit, like 5, because I usually do that in Visco Cam. And then I'll go on sharpness. And I'll usually turn that up because it, like, if the picture's blurry, we'll make it stand out. And I really like that. And you want to make sure it's not like looking weird when you do that. So, yeah. Then I will import it to Visco Cam. Alright, I just added to that picture. 
picture and I already edited the picture but I'm just going to re-edit it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go and get HB2 and HB2 is a free filter. It doesn't come right away with it. You actually have to go in the store and get it and it comes with HB2 and HB1. And um, there's like a bunch of filters on here so you can just get whatever you want. But then, so I'll usually keep that all the way up. And then I'll usually turn the exposure down, but not too much. Usually I won't turn it down all the way. Usually just turn it down on like three or two. I'm just gonna turn it down on. I'm gonna just turn it down on two. And then I will see there's the sharpening thing, and you do not ever want your picture to look like this because it doesn't look good. So then I will go on saturation and turn it down a little bit. Just gonna go on negative one. Because I don't want it to be down all the way. And you can do highlight save. I don't. That makes you kind of look like it just like completely makes everything one shade. Which I don't. And this makes everything kind of blurry. Not blurry. Faded. So then temperature makes your picture blue. Um, but I just turn it down one or two. And I'm just going to do one. It depends all on the picture. But then there's the skin tone, and that makes you more orange or more red. And I don't think, I'm just going to turn that up one. And then for fade, on every picture, I turn it up two. And that is how I edit my selfie picture. So now I'm going to show you how I edit, um, like, another picture. So... Here, I'll edit this picture of the clouds. So like I said, I'll crop it to where I want it. I can crop the sides, middle. So now I will turn the brightness up or down, depending on the picture. And then I'll turn the saturation up, down. I'm just gonna put it on like 10. And then I'll turn the sharpness up. And I'm only going to put it on like 50. And then I'll import it to Visco. <laughs> Anyways, I go to HV2. I'll turn the exposure down or up. And my pictures are more darkened. So I'll turn that down, not all the way, depending. I'm going to turn it on 3 because I want it dark, but not super, super dark. Then I'll turn the saturation down like three and then I'll add a little bit of temperature which is one and then I'm not going to turn any like God, it actually changes the color of the lights of the car so I'm going to turn it on six so the lights are red and then I'll just add two of fade and then I'm done okay well that was how I edit my Instagram pictures and that's kind of what a uh, theme or feed is. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, make sure to give this a thumbs up like I said and subscribe. Definitely go follow my social media like my Instagram. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.